In Unity, any scene with a nav mesh can easily be navigated by a game object with a nav mesh agent component. Here we have a scene in Unity. The scene already has a nav mesh baked. The scene also has an empty game object, which will be the target of our navigation. Finally, there is a capsule, which we will apply our nav mesh agent to. The capsule has a sample agent script attached. This script has a public variable target, which is already set to our empty game object named target. To add a nav mesh agent, click the Add Component button in the Inspector view and select Navigation Nav Mesh Agent. The agent has several settings which we can modify to change its behavior. The radius represents the radius of the agent, while the speed is the agent's max speed. The acceleration is how quickly the agent will accelerate, and the angular speed is how quickly the agent can turn. The stopping distance property represents the distance from the target that the agent will begin slowing down. Auto traverse off mesh links dictates whether or not the agent will utilize off mesh links automatically. More information on off mesh links can be found in the lesson linked below. Auto braking determines if the agent will break when nearing its destination. Leaving this checked will stop the agent from overshooting its target. Auto repath will allow the agent to rebuild its path if its current path becomes invalid. The height property is the height of the agent. The base offset is the vertical offset of the agent's collider. The obstacle avoidance type has several options. At higher qualities, avoidance is more accurate. At lower qualities, avoidance is more efficient. The avoidance priority determines which agents have priority when navigating. Agents of a higher priority should have a lower number. Finally, the nav mesh walkable property tells the agent which navigation layers it can traverse. For more information on navigation layers, see the lesson on nav mesh baking linked below. It is worth noting that while we can change these properties to achieve a large range of effects, the default properties will work for most situations. Once the nav mesh agent component is applied and configured, we only need to tell it where to go. In our sample agent script, we can see that we first declare a variable of type nav mesh agent named agent. In the start method, we get a reference to our nav mesh agent and store it in our agent variable using the getComponent function. In order to tell our agent where to go, we use the setDestination method of the nav mesh agent class. This method reads in a single vector 3. In this instance, we will call the setDestination method by typing agent dot set destination. Then, in the parentheses, we will type target dot position. This tells our agent to move towards the target game object. Back in Unity, we can run our scene. We will notice immediately that the capsule game object begins moving and traversing our level. The capsule will eventually reach our target game object and come to a stop. 